Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to do a different kind of review than I would normally do. Instead of talking about some gear, equipment, or whatever, I'm actually going to talk about a field today. Uh, this will be the first of what I hope will be a number of field reviews that I do. So this uh, field that I'm going to talk about today, this is Ground Assault Paintball up in Carlstadt, New Jersey. It's right across the road, literally, from Giant Stadium. It's on uh, Patterson Plank Road up in Carlstead. It's kind of on the far side of uh, the Meadowland Sports Complex from uh, Route 3. So if you're in the tri-state area, North Jersey-ish, uh, this is relevant. If you're not in the neighborhood, then feel free to disregard what I'm about to say because odds are this will not really apply. But um, Ground Assault Paintball in uh, Carlstadt. It's an indoor field, but it's not like your average indoor field. Most indoor fields basically have one or a couple of airball fields usually, and they cater to a more speedball oriented crowd. Ground Assault, as the name implies, is quite different. Ground Assault is a scenario oriented indoor paintball field. It has actually three fields, and it's in kind of an old warehouse shipping kind of complex thing, um, and they've broken the building down in a cool way so that it has three different fields. <coughs> Sorry. So the first field, the main field, is a large, uh, probably about the size of your standard indoor airball field, um, but it's a scenario field. It has uh, kind of plywood buildings, it has fake sand, uh, sandbag kind of bunkers, it has an old Jeep, uh, literally an old Jeep Wrangler, you know, sitting there with the wheels taken off, surrounded by like sandbags. It's, uh, that's a pretty nice field. It also has like a hallway bit that's kind of enclosed, so one side of the field has this very kind of tight, dark feel to it, which is excellent. And uh, by the way, I should mention in my last um, series of FPS videos, I forget what number, up to 11 maybe, um, it's this field that, uh, this is, that's Ground Assault Paintball, and it's this first field that all those games take place on, so you can see a lot of uh, the different things in there. So, they have this one main field that's pretty open, uh, it's got these cool plywood bunkers and some other more scenario-like bunkers, and one great thing about it is that they're relatively tall bunkers, so you have a lot of low crawling lanes where you can pretty much remain on scene, which is pretty cool. Um, the second field is very different. The second field is very much, uh, it's, it's a little tighter because it has a very tight bottleneck in it. It's basically one rectangle and then another rectangle with a very narrow passage in between. One of them is really cool. It's set up actually like the food court in a mall. It's got, you know, tables and benches and everything. And the other one is set up, you know, so it's got like little boxy building structures. Um, and they set up, uh, they change the way the barriers are set up going through this choke point, and it makes for some interesting crawling lanes where, you know, one side can kind of get through on one side of the doorway, the other side can get through the other side, but there'll be a big barrier in between and you can't actually see, you know, what's going on on the opposite side, maybe just three feet away from you. It's a pretty cool field, very tight around that choke point, a lot of fun. And then the third field is probably the most interesting of the three. The third field is a pump and pistol only scenario kind of thing. It's small, it's tight, it's basically long and narrow, it's a bank heist scenario. And so most of it is, you know, outside the bank and the floor is actually painted like a road with, you know, curbs and, and the double yellow line in the middle. And it's got like police barricades set up and everything. And then you get to the to the wall part way through the field and it's set up like a bank, complete with a drive through window. You can go in the door, there's an open window facing facing the road. And inside is a series of rooms with like desks with computers, you know, offices, there's a conference room, a hallway with like filing cabinets, and you kind of have to fight your way through these very tight rooms and corridors to, uh, you know, accomplish the objective, which this is usually a hostage rescue type of scenario where the, you know, you have 10 or 15 minutes or whatever it is to get in and get the hostages before the, uh, you know, the the thieves, the bank robbers, either take all the attackers, the cops, out and get out and get away, or before they kill the hostages, one way or the other. Um, so that's a really uh, interesting place to play. Again, it's pump and pistol only because it's so close quarters. You don't want anybody getting hurt just, you know, just by, you know, railing on someone from close range. But uh, that's a really fun field, and there are a bunch of videos if you search for them. Those are up to, uh, they're out there on YouTube. It's a very fun field. And um, so let's see, other things about Ground Assault, it's kept pretty clean. Every time I've been there, it's been nice and clean. It's not like a lot of places where gunk builds up on the floor. For the most part, that doesn't happen, which is really nice. In fact, several times during the day, uh, for the most part, when you're there, they'll actually close one field or another, take five minutes to kind of clean it up, and then reopen it, which is really cool. 
without having any airball bunkers. They don't ever have to stop to reinflate the bunkers, which is nice. That's a good thing. Um, air fills can be a little spotty. They go up to 3,000 last time I was there. I think in the past they've gone up to about 4,000, but it's kind of hit or miss depending on that. Let's see, price uh, for walk-ons is 25 bucks, I think. The website says 35 but last time I was there it was 25 so I'm, you know, one or the other, um, which is pretty decent. Paintballs are reasonably priced for decent quality. I forget exactly what they are, but sometimes they have a deal where you pay $45 for admission and a case of paint, which is a very nice deal. Um, so that's good, and I think you can bring your own paint as long as it's white fill. Okay, so uh, the, the managers and the refing staff are pretty good. They keep the games moving. They're pretty much on top of things. Uh, no complaints there. And then, of course, the safety is its pretty good. It's not fantastic, but it's good. Um, you know, they chrono everybody at the beginning, make sure everyone's down. I think 250 is the limit because it's an indoor field. And they're pretty good um, with the masks and barrel covers and the dead zones and everything. And the other players tend to be pretty good with that, too. Um, you know, reminding people if they happen to forget. So I think that's everything. Ground Assault Paintball. It's an indoor scenario field in Carlstadt, New Jersey. If you're in the neighborhood, it's a lot of fun. Uh, check it out. I also have a written review of this up uh, on M. Carter Brown, so if, uh, I put the link down below. So if you just want to click on there, you can see a bunch of pictures I put up. But, um, that's it. That's my review of Ground Assault Paintball in Carlstadt, New Jersey. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.